Hi guys, I'm Morten from Playful Synapse. In this video I will show you how to make procedural spline meshes and how to control them with a spline. This technique is really quite simple, but very useful for creating complex bended shapes of many kinds. What you see here on the screen is the pipe spline mesh from the example files that comes with the Unreal Engine. I've created a construction script that adds this spline mesh between each point on the spline. This makes it very easy to modify and create the shape that you want to make. So for instance, if I want to uh, make this a bit longer, I just click on the spline point at the end, like that. If I want to add another spline point, I can just click on the middle here, another spline point. I can then bend the shape as I like, like this. And if I want to, uh, to, end the, to change the direction of the spline, I can just uh, change it like this just be using the rotation tool. So you see this is a very uh, handy way of creating a lot of bended shapes. You can use it for creating pipes like this, roads, uh, and a lot of things. I'm sure you have uh, a lot of things that you can think of yourself that you would like to use this for. So I'm going to show you how to make this one in this tutorial. So just lean back and enjoy. To get started, we right click and add a blueprint actor and name it my, my pipe mesh, for instance. Double click. And here we need a, a scene. So this one, top scene, for instance. Add one more component. We need a, a spline like that. This is really all we need from this section. So let's go to the graph and the construction script. What we need first is to figure out how many points there are on our spline. So let's get the spline. Get number of spline points. We further make a for loop. this. Our, our for loop should start at the index 0. Now what we are going to do is that for each two spline points we are going to add a mesh between them. So say if we have three points that will be two meshes. So we have uh, one less mesh than the number of points. But since the first index starts at 0 we need to deduct one more. So we need to, to deduct two from the number of uh, spline points. Like this. So let's deduct two. So now we have a for loop that starts at zero and ends at the number of spline points minus two. For each uh, run in the for loop, we are going to add a spline mesh. So let's just this. Add, oops, add spline mesh component like that. Let's connect them and use the manual attachment. And if we now click on this one and select the mesh that we're going to use, let's type in pipe. That's what it's called. It's called S, S pipe spline like that. One important thing is uh, when you have this spline, you can see that the forward direction for it for the spline is in the set direction upward. So when you have uh, selected the spline here, you need to also select that uh, its upward direction should be the forward direction should be the set axis in this case, like this. Uh, in in general, if you're going to use uh, some other spline, it's quite useful if the spline point and the uh, the anchor point of the spline, if that one is uh, in, in the middle, otherwise your spline is going to look a bit uh, strange. So just make sure of that. So here, having added the spline mesh component, we are now going to attach it. And uh, so we take out the value like that. Attach to 
and what we're going to attach it to is the top scene like this we now need to set the start and end point for the mesh so let's just drag out this one let's set start okay oh sorry you need to to drag out from from this one the return value set start and end in local space this is the function we need let's connect it now we just need to figure out the start position and the start tangent the end position and the end tangent and that's something we are going to get from our, our from our spline so let's just uh, get the spline like this and uh, the function get local location and tangent at spline point like that so the first one is going to be the, the, the index value so here we just figure out the, the first spline point connect it like that start point and start tangent so that's our from uh, from part the start position and the next position is then going to be the next point so let's just make a copy of this one spline like that that's going to be the next index so here we have to add one this here you go end position and the end tangent and that's really all you need to do save it and compile it now let's test that it works just drag it out here like that Click on the point, you can move it around, Click in, right click in the middle, add spline point. This seems to work quite well. See that we can uh, also twist and turn the endpoints. So this is it. Uh, I hope you had a good time and thanks for watching.